Alright, this is Facafon's review of Final Fantasy 1. If you're wondering why it's been so long that I've been making a review, it's because I've been so fucking busy this summer. I of course have my job, but I've been also moving out of my dorms and now I'm living in an apartment. And then I had some money problems and then I was just having too much sex with women. I mean, I didn't have any time for myself anymore. One of these statements is not true. God damn, the acoustic sucks here. Anyway, let's talk about Final Fantasy 1. Now, I'll be honest, I did I played both the Nintendo version and the PlayStation 1 version, and I never finished the Nintendo version because I was too young and I sucked. But I did finish the PlayStation 1 version, but I'm still going to talk about the Nintendo version because well, it came first. First, let's talk about the story of the game. Well, actually the story is not very complicated. The story of the game is pretty much save the world. Oh yeah. And that's about it. I mean, to be honest, you don't need any more than that. I mean, it's an old game after all. But yeah, that, well, there's a little bit more than that. Uh, you start the game and you see the king and he's like, Well, you don't have any equipment, do you? Well, I'm not giving you any money. Go save the princess. And you're like, what the fuck? So you go save the princess thinking, well, I'm going to get a reward for this. Anyway, you get, you go see the, the guy who kidnapped the princess. And he's like, I'm going to knock you all down. And you're like... Anyway, you kick his ass and then you rescue the princess and the guy is like... Uh, so, you rescued my daughter, huh, you son of a bitch? Well, have a bridge, you fuckers! And you're like, a bridge? Holy shit, that's awesome! I don't know why people... Okay, you know people usually say, like, eh, getting a bridge in Final Fantasy 1, that sucks. What the fuck are you talking about? If, do you know any other game where you get a building, like, built in your name? And not only just a building, a fucking bridge! I would like to have a bridge in my name. Hell, if I was playing like, I don't know, Fable or Oblivion, I don't want your fucking lightning sword of shit. I want a fucking bridge. It's awesome. That's what I would have said if it was actually relevant. You see, you do get a bridge, yes, and it's in your name, yes, but it's never mentioned. You can't really use the bridge. You can just pass on it. You can't check out the bridge. You can't do anything with the bridge. This said, when you play a video game and you get a sword, you can actually use it, fight better and stuff like that. But when you get a bridge, it's not like you can use the bridge to, like, I don't know, put some merchants on it or, like, put some taxes and get some money or, I don't know, use it to fish. It's just a tile that appears on the map. That sucks. See, that's why people were pissed in Final Fantasy 1 to only get a bridge. It's not because... It's uh, it's not a good reward. It's because the way it's used, it's just a, it's just an excuse not to go further in the game until you rescue the princess, princess, not princess. So yeah, uh, apart from that story of the game. So uh, after you get the bridge, you go see an old woman. She's like, I lost my ball of crystal, and you're like, I don't want to know anything about your balls, lady. So you beat a pirate, you take a ship, cause that's how it works, and then yeah, you go see some dwarfs, and like you gotta explode some shit, and you explode it. Then you go like in the underground, you kill a vampire, you get a crystal, you kill some f ice guys, some flame guys. Then you, uh, you get some four crystals, and because you, get, you gotta get crystals, that's, that's the point of the game. And then uh, there's like a dragon who's like, yo, get me a rat tails, bitch. And you're like, eh. You get him a rat tail, you level up, uh, you become super stronger. And then, uh, well, you get to the end of the game and Garland is like, well, you know what? I was actually the last boss of the game and the first boss of the game. You're like, what a twist. So you kick his ass and you save the world. And to be honest, I never got this far in the Nintendo version, but I assume the PlayStation version and the Nintendo version is pretty much the same, so uh, here's hoping I'm right. When it comes to the characters of the game, it's not like the other Final Fantasy where you have a set character, like, uh, like a team. You can actually choose your own team, and you can all be the same guys. You got the fighter, the thief, the black mage, the white mage, the red mage, yeah, very creative. And of course, you get the monk, uh, the black belt, sorry, it's not the same. The class are pretty much self-explanatory. The fighters fight, the thieves fight. The red mage fight, actually they all fight, but the thing is, when you get the uh, the magic guys, like the magicians, uh, they use magic. The, the white mage uses white magic to cure and kill the undead, the black mage just kicks a lot of ass, and the red mage does a little of both. And he's also better with the weapons, so the red mage is like the average guy of the team. What's that fucking noise in my microphone? Weapon-wise, it's very classic. You got the swords, the maces, the staffs, the daggers, and the nunchucks. It's really, really basic. Although, if I can say something, when you use the black mage, uh, the black belt, sorry, don't give him a weapon. He's actually better without a weapon. Uh, well, apart from uh, for very few exceptions. 
Be why? Because well, he's just a uh, when you level up. Normally, your guy have some little stats upgrade, like more strength, more HP, whatever. But that guy, when he levels up, he doesn't level up exactly the same way as the other guys. He gets more attacks, more uh, more strength with his fists, and not with his weapons. Graphic wise. The game was actually pretty fun on Nintendo when you look at the graphics. It was very basic, but it was really fun. The problem is, when you were in the fights, that, well, it doesn't have anything to do with graphics, but when you killed an enemy... Oh, I'm gonna close the door, sorry. When you get in a fight with some enemies and you killed an enemy and other people targeted that enemy, they're gonna attack the emptiness. They were not smart. They were really not smart. And they fixed it with a PlayStation version, but that was a constant issue in the Nintendo, that uh, every time you wanted to kill a guy, you were not too sure, so you, you got two guys attacking him, and the other guys attacked the other guys, but then the two guys were not strong enough to kill him, and then you had to attack again, and then the other guy attacked in the emptiness, and you were like, what the fuck are you doing? Can't you see the other guys, you fucking blind fucker? Uh, apart from that, uh, well, the cities are okay, the quests are very basic, like, go there, get this, come back, and yeah. There's not much else to say. It was a very simple game at the time, but it it was a fun game. It grew older. It's not as good as it used to be, but it's it's still worth a try. And personally, I recommend the PlayStation version. It is a little bit easier, and uh, it's still a well. Maybe it's just because I suck, but it still is a little bit of a hard game. So uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. I don't know why. I just really like this drawing. <laughs>